Now, a story you don't want to miss. A handful of people is claiming a local contractor conned them on home improvement projects. We explained at 5 o'clock that Newston's Tucker White started looking into the allegations after a tip into our newsroom. The people who say their victims claim Carl Phillips left their projects unfinished. Through court documents, News 10 found Phillips has owned three different home improvement companies. Their legal issues and other allegations against all of them. Tucker White now joins us live in our newsroom to explain. Patrice Rondrell, Carl Phillips was in court today for two different cases, both of those stemming from home improvement fraud. Now, I went ahead and spoke to a couple community members who say they had been victims of his fraud, and today I went to the courthouse to get some answers. Carl, we'd love to be able to tell your side of the story. Get away from me! I'm not playing! He wouldn't answer our questions, but homeowners say Carl Phillips needs to answer theirs. If you go through his court records, you can see he has owned several different home improvement businesses. He didn't want to talk about those either, though. Carl, what business name are you operating under right now? Is it K&M Home Improvement? Is it K&M Heating and Cooling? Is it Phillips Home Improvement? Some of the people who say Phillips conned them were willing to talk, though. Sherry Manning hired Phillips back in February. Her home had some water damage, and now she says she has an even bigger mess on her hands. He came in, assessed the situation, um, tore part of the floor out right underneath that window is where the, the floor was fallen. Um, said it's going to be this amount of money. Wrote up the contract, and um, we gave him a check. Manning now has a pile of drywall in her front yard and an even bigger pile of wood that has been torn out of her house. The master bedroom is now a hole in the ground. So that right there is our bedroom that he's left undone. The one without a floor? Yes, the one without a floor. And Manning says she decided not to press charges after seeing Phillip's rap sheet. I mean, this goes, when the attorney pulled all, it was like 20, 20 um, different court cases. We questioned Phillips several times about these allegations and even contacted his attorney for comment. We have not heard back yet, but it is important to note the state shows Phillips' current company, KNM Home Improvement, is registered as a domestic limited liability company. Now, the city of Terre Haute tells me that company is actively licensed, bond, and insured. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tucker White, News 10. Very interesting story there, Tucker.